In webinar five, we want to focus more positively on the opportunities that can come from the carbon credits market and the opportunities for businesses that really engage and interrogate the type of credits projects they want to support. Because as we've established earlier, credits can be very transformative tools. Um, they can be very positive agents of change in many ways. But as it stands in 2023, we, there are inherent risks. We have seen the rise of ESG litigation and greenwashing, which puts the fiduciary duty of a board and a company into the forefront. So when companies are purchasing carbon credits for their net zero, they need to be very focused on the due diligence. Because, for example, if they invest a year or two years capital in carbon credits, which then turn out to come from projects that are either junk or do not exist, that potentially triggers a default in their net zero strategy, which then triggers a default in what they have disclosed to shareholders, the markets, and et cetera. So that area of fiduciary duty and litigation, it's still a very live area in the UK. It's UK companies law. but from an accountancy perspective, carbon credits are an intangible on the books. So the liability of junk credits, which were bought with the best intentions, it's difficult to understand where it stands. So we will unpack those issues, but what I hope is end up on a positive. Um, it's, it's, it's one thing that we do want to bring through here is show the opportunity within carbon credits and how companies and even individuals can use them as positive agents for change.